Okay, let's go over this. So this is the new strategy that we're getting out to everybody in con uh, conjunction with what you guys already have. This is called the liquidity grab trader. And I'm going to go over what it does. Now, mark down your calendars. Next Wednesday, I'll give you the date. Next Wednesday, we're going to do a market replay on this. It would be the 23rd, next Wednesday, the 23rd. The 23rd. So next Wednesday, the 23rd at 8.15. 8.15, we're going to do a market replay on this. I'm going to show you multiple uh, time frames. So what is Liquidity Grab Trader? How can we use it? And what bar types can we use it with? The Liquidity Grab Trader can be used on all bar types. It doesn't matter what bar type it is. It can be used on a Rinko bar. It can be used on Minute Bars or what other bar type that you want to use it as. What it does, it looks for a push in the market, whether it be future stocks, Forex, currency, whatever market you're trading, and it looks for that first retracement or when they grab liquidity, when, when the market is trying to grab liquidity, meaning when these counter trend traders come in the market and push it against trend, it likes to grab liquidity or the continuation to the downside or upside. So you can see this is the first trend change we had on the downside and this is the first trend change we had on the upside. And I'm going to show you why the first why why and when the liquidity grab trader will get long or short. So as you can tell, this is our Rinko size bar. This is an Uni Rinko but this, you don't have to use an Uni Renko on it. You can use our proprietary Sim Renko bar. You can use your own Renko bar type. There's a lot of Renko bar types out there. You can even use minute charts on this also. This works really well on a five minute chart. So this is a trend change to the downside, meaning you see the Renko bars turn red. Now what we'll do is, like I said, next Wednesday the 23rd, um, you can attend at 8.15, and because um, I know a lot of traders don't log in on the S&P. We have a lot of traders out there that trade different markets. You can log in and see how this trades. And so next Wednesday from 8.15 to around 8.45, we will be going over this on Market Replay for you so you can watch this in action. But let's go over the, the reason it goes long or short and how traders can take advantage using the strategy. So as you can tell here, I'll make this an arrow. We won't make this a long call so you guys can review this because the big conference call is next Wednesday the 23rd. Make sure you understand. So we get it. We get a trend change right here. We turn a red rink out. The market starts moving down from this is the NASDAQ future starts moving down. The first pullback happens at this at this Renko. The Renko pulled back, meaning the smart money is trying to grab liquidity to close it lower to get a continuation. This is what's called a liquidity grab, or what I call LG1. LG1 is when you get a trend change in the direction of trend and then you get a liquidity grab where the market counters itself against the overall trend, grabs the counter trend traders monies because they're counter trend trading the money. This is where counter trend traders are pushing the market up and then they reverse it back down in the direction of trend for continuation. All right, that's essentially what a liquidity grab does. The smart money likes to push the market against the overall trend, and this works on all Renko sizes. And I'll show you in a larger Renko size what it would look like. The market pushes itself against overall trend. This is a smaller Renko size. This is a 1125 on the NASDAQ futures. It pushes against the overall trend, 
and then it closes right back red. This is the first liquidity grab after a trend change for continuation. Now what the liquidity grab trader will do, it will look for this first liquidity grab to establish a position. They'll look for the first liquidity grab right here. First liquidity grab. Your stop can be a hard stop. There will be a hard stop depending on what Rinko size you use. Some will use larger Rinko sizes. We'll go over that next Wednesday. I'll have, I'll have multiple Rinko sizes. Multi, I'll, have an, I'll have even a five-minute chart pulled up running at the same time. I'll have multiple charts pulled up at the same time running at the same time so you can watch a liquidity grab trader trade multiple chart type, I mean bar types. So what it will do is look for the first grab of liquidity when they're pushing the market against trend and they reverse it back down for continuation. You can have up to six contracts whether you trade the micros or the big contract on <clears throat> all these different markets. Futures, stocks, currency, Forex, crypto markets also. This works on crypto markets also. It looks for the first push against trend, then the close for the continuation. It's a very simple program where it's just looking with the overall trend direction, the first push against trend, where they're grabbing liquidity for a push in that direction. All right. You'll see down here we have a trend change to the upside. What it will do, it will wait until you get the counter trend traders that push the market down. Now this is a smaller Renko size. It's a, this is a 25 Renko size. This is where it pushes the market down. And then it closes right back up and closes. And that's when the strategy will go long. Once it goes long, you can have your targets, you can have break even plus one, or you can have break even off, and then I'll wait for the next liquidity grab after another trend change. So this is universal in all markets. It doesn't matter. This is the NASDAQ futures. It's looking for an LG1 to go short, or an LG1 liquidity grab one after a trend change to go long. So the reason why liquidity grabs are so important is that it's where you get traders that are counter trend trading the market against the overall trend, try to push the market in the other direction by using pivot levels, Fibonacci levels, all these different indicators that are against the trend. They'll push the market down all the way down and then they'll close it right back up. So if you look between this high of this part of the candle and this low, that's where they just took all the counter trend traders money to grab liquidity. That's where they're grabbing liquidity, this little section of the candle. This is where they're grabbing liquidity to push the market higher. You see they grab liquidity here, close it green, push the market higher, grab liquidity, push the market higher, grab liquidity, push the market higher. What this does, it looks for the liquidity grab one to establish the position. Liquidity grab one to establish the position with the overall trend. That's a NASDAQ futures, but it's universal. It doesn't matter what market you look at. Let's look at the S&P. S&P is the same way. You'll notice we had a trend change. We know in the trade room, I like V bottoms, V bottoms and V tops. In fact, we're in one right now as we speak, V bottom to the upside. So here's a V bottom. And I educate traders, the first liquidity grab, LG1, is your best shot before a momentum candle comes in. So this is LG1. LG1 is the first pullback against trend where we're going to try to establish a position in the market where the counter trend traders are going against overall trend direction and the smart algos are trying to get in, grab liquidity, 
and push this thing higher. So that's LG1. So the L LG1 buys and sells happen after a V bottom or V top. And we know how to look for that in the software. We have done tons of videos on V bottoms, V tops. So here's a this will be a V bottom. So this is a V bottom. You're looking for the first LG1 for the continuation. If this is a V top. We did tons of videos. I don't, I don't need to go over V's. We've done tons of videos how to do V bottoms, V tops. I'll show you what it looks like in the room now. We have one that's long now in the market. There's a V bottom, or V top, sorry. So after the V top or V bottom, the first pullback against trend, you see the market starts cranking down on the S&P from 59.07, you get a trend change comes all the way down to 5905 and then it pulls all the way back up to 5908 and a quarter this portion of the candle is what's called a liquidity grab so for those three points or 12 ticks the counter trend traders are starting to push the market back up thinking it's still an uptrend from this big push up when in reality the candle closes back down, closes red, and you get a LG1 liquidity grab after a VTOP. So what we're doing then on this strategy is we're looking for a liquidity grab after a V bottom or VTOP, which I call an LG1, where the counter trend traders are coming into the market, pushing it against overall trend direction, and they're trying to do a continuation to that direction. Over here, this is a really deep liquidity grab. Why? This is a portion, when you see these big deep liquidity grabs like this, it's a big deep liquidity grab. The S&P was sitting at 58.92 and a half. They bring it all the way up to 98. So six S&P points, they went against trend. The counter trend traders pushed it six points against trend. That was only a fake out because the counter trend traders are pushing it up. Comes back down, closes back red. That's when liquidity grab went short because it recognized that was a liquidity grab where the counters got taken out of the market. And then the trend traders got right back in after the counters got wiped out on that 24 tick push up against trend. So that's essentially what the liquidity grab trader does. It's trying to grab liquidity after this. Now, when I said it works on all Renko sizes, it doesn't matter what it is. So this, this is our large Renko size we have in the trade room. So no matter what it is, you can see these big, big giant stems up above, above price. That's where they're grabbing liquidity, right? So they're trying to grab liquidity against overall trend direction. Let's take a, a, a whole trading day to show you. So if you look on October 17th yesterday, of all, all day trading yesterday, if you traded any shorts yesterday, you're going against the smart money. The smart money said yesterday, all day, the 17th, all the way into the close, that they were grabbing liquidity all day long. Let me show a whole trading day. Here's a whole trading day. So all day long, they were grabbing liquidity. So what we want to try to do then is we want to try to grab liquidity we want to try to get in with liquidity grab against these counter trend traders. So if you look at all these big stems down below price, this is when they're grabbing liquidity. Liquidity, liquidity, here's a big one. Liquidity, liquidity, grabbing liquidity all the way up. So when you take a look at the longer Renko size like this, you'll recognize one thing. You'll see what the algorithms are trying to do. They're trying to take all the counter money out, counter money out. These different traders are trading pivot levels, Fibonacci levels that think the market is going to go down when they are wrong. 
the market is in a hard push up all day from all the way from the day before at 230 all the way into the close all the way up and I'm sorry into um, into that 11 o'clock yesterday so that was all day then they made a transition at 1130 yesterday you don't know if, if it's a liquidity grab until it closes for example they made a transition right here at 1102 and here's what you'll see on transitions transitions you'll start you'll see liquidity grab liquidity then you'll see a big giant liquidity grab they try to fake all these traders out that were long for the last day and a half and they grabbed all this liquidity right here only to close it back red that tells you they're trying to bring that market lower they're trying to bring the market lower so until this closes back green until we close back green candle they could be grabbing liquidity here also so if you have any of my short-term charts that are showing V tops or failure shorts that's with the overall trend and that's what the liquidity grab trader will try to do so you can see here on the 15th on the 15th all the way from 1040 in the morning into the close you should have been net short all day meaning all these big giant liquidity grabs that is a smart algos taking in liquidity from all those counter trend traders and they kept bringing it lower from 78 and a half all the way down to 50 30 s p points they're just grinding it down all day grind down grind down grinding down so so by looking at liquidity grabs you can see what they're over what they're trying to do overall where are they trying to bring the market overall on the 15th they're bringing it all the way down for a 30 s p point drop so that helps you on the shorter term charts so in our trading room if we see charts that are with trend it happened yesterday so if you see here that the liquidity grab trader i mean the longer rico size is up which it was it was green so when i see a yellow candle or a failure trader with overall liquidity grab trend this is a failure with trend that is a beautiful entry the v bottom here beautiful entry v bottom v bottom so what you can do then is between the v bottom here and the momo one it's going to try to grab liquidity in here in between the v bottom and momo one that's when the liquidity grab trader is going to try to go long or short in that level depending on the rinko size there's no minimal ticks for liquidity grab it can be a deep liquidity grab or shallow liquidity grab as long as it's grabbing below overall price current price the deeper liquidity grab the more pronounced move you're going to get so if you noticed on this level here that we're looking at right here at this V bottom so here's your V bottom this is a V bottom we went from a failure trade at 2.30 in the morning we don't trade these as counter trend trade dual trend filters up this is a buy signal that just happened on the S&P here's our buy signal this is called a V bottom in the room so if that's a V bottom in the room we know the liquidity liquidity grab is going to occur with overall trend right after the V bottom if they're going to try to push this there's your V bottom so between V bottom and the pattern recognition software recognizes this is Momo one so where the liquidity grab is going to happen is it's going to happen in between the V bottom and Momo one 
So there's a couple ways you can use liquidity grab. After your V bottom comes in and you are trending up, you can turn the liquidity grab trader on and let it run your trade for you. Because it's, what it's going to try to do, it's going to try to get you in this liquidity grab right in between here. If you find a Rinko size where you just want to let it run around the clock, you can do that also by just grabbing liquidity trades only. Or you can cherry pick trades and let the liquidity grab trader get in for you by itself. In between here is liquidity grab. So if I take a look at liquidity, where will liquidity grab trader go long? Let's take a look at our room charts and see. And we're going to do a market replay on this next Wednesday the 23rd at 8.15. So here's my V bottom, right? Let's take a look at this. These are our live room charts right now. There's your V bottom. Here's your entry. Your entry is a yellow candle close, 58.97 and three quarters. Here it is over here. We have the same chart over here that shows us that whether well, it's a sweet spot trade V bottom or normal V bottom. So here's a normal V bottom. This candle coincides with this candle right here, right? So there's our V bottom. Where's the first liquidity grab and where will the liquidity grab trader go long? So here's your V bottom. A couple ways you can do it. You can turn your liquidity grab trader on, toggle switch on. You got your preset targets, your preset stop, your preset everything put in liquidity grab trader already. Where would it go long? It's going to go long after the first grab where they try to grab liquidity. It's going to go long on the first grab of liquidity. So it went long at 58.99 and three quarters. 58.99 and three quarters after the slippage. Or 58.99 and a quarter, sorry. 58.99 and a quarter. It got long right at this level from this liquidity grab. So this is where you'll see liquidity grab traders go long. So when you see liquidity grab traders go long or short, it will go long like I just showed you after the first V bottom on the first liquidity grab. Now, what you can do, you can determine what Rinko size you want to use. You don't have to use the Uni Rinko bar. You don't have to use the Sim Rinko bar, proprietary Rinko bar. You don't have to use one specific Rinko type. This works on all Rinko sizes. What I'm going to show you is multiple Rinko sizes. I'm going to show you how this works on a five-minute chart also. This will work even on a five-minute chart to grab and liquidity on minute charts. So it's the same idea. After a trend change, it's going to look for the first deep pullback or the first pullback. It doesn't have to even be really deep. The first pullback, that's LG1, and it's going to try to get long with your targets put in place after the first liquidity grab. So you can see on our room charts, you can see what it does. It's the same thing. It's going to try to grab LG1 is going to come in between your V bottom and your Momo1. This is where LG1 is going to happen. You guys are really successful in the room by trading V bot our members by trading V bottoms and V tops. It's the most accurate setup we have in the room. This V bottom with trend, right? Dual trend to filter up, red, green, green, V bottom, yellow entry candle. LG1 is going to come in right in here. You want to come right in here, which it does right there, LG1. That's where it's going to go long. Now, depending on the Rinko size, you can use any Rinko size, any bar type that you want, and you can test that Rinko size on liquidity grab. Your stop is going to be dependent on what size of Rinko size or bar type you use, obviously. And I'll go over that next Wednesday. But typically, your stop will be lower than a V bottom trade. Because on a V bottom trade, this is a 20 tick chart. There's 20 ticks from the high to the low. So initially, on a V bottom, you want to have it two ticks below the swing, which is 22 ticks. A, v a liquidity grab is different. A liquidity grab, sometimes you'll get real small liquidity grabs. So on this liquidity grab, 
this liquidity grab is much smaller in duration than this 20 or 25 tick candle. So you notice the liquidity grab is much smaller. So if you want more small stops, you can put in smaller stops and you'll get stopped out on the big liquidity grabs, but you won't on the smaller ones that can afford you high reward or risk trades. So this is a replay we'll do next week. We'll do this next week, next Wednesday, the 23rd. I'll mark these charts up. We'll get them out to you. Next Wednesday, the 23rd at 8.15, we're rolling it for 30 minutes. So, so if, we will record it. If you can't be in the room, we will record it. I'm getting the software over Gerald this weekend so he can start wrapping this thing. Do not email Gerald. We'll put it on the members download page and we'll let the members know when it's out. So he's going to get the liquidity grab trader this weekend. He will start working on it. No need to email him. We'll just email members only. We'll send out a members notice. And I got a little thing that goes with it to show you the different Rinko sizes and all that stuff on the, that accompanies the 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 the, um, the LG one or liquidity grab trader. Okay. So if you were to do it manually, Aaron asked a question. Do you wait for a yellow bar after the V bottom and then look for liquidity grab one? Yes. So let's say you want to trade, you want to do automation with all V bottoms, but you only want to take liquidity grabs, Aaron. If you were to do it, let's say you don't want to trade the liquidity grab trader around the clock. You just want to trade it with V bottoms with the dual trend filter. If you wanted to do that, you would let this yellow candle come in within three candles. Make sure your, your trend filter is green green or red red. Turn it on and it gets you long right there at 58, 98 and a quarter. 58, 98 and a quarter slippage. It could produce a little bit higher, but then you'd be long with your hard stop. So that's what you could do. As you can, you can turn the automation on immediately after you've got them. So what I'm saying is this. You turn liquidity grab trader on there. Turn liquidity grab trader here. So let's look at this liquidity grab short. It happened at 2016.99. So if you were to get short, here's what liquidity grab trader would do. It would it would manage the position for you. So you got the V bottom top that came in, right? V bottom top came in, the yellow candle forms, you activate your liquidity grab trader. It will wait for the first liquidity grab and get you short. Now why is that different than you manually getting in liquidity grab? A computer is a lot faster than you manually hitting it. If you were manually hitting this liquidity grab right here, your fill is going to be a lot worse than you than letting it do do it with automation, if that makes sense. So let's take a look at this. Watch. So here's your V top. V top came in at 2016 and 59 seconds. I educate traders. This is red red. Dual trim filters red red. I educate traders that the liquidity grab one is going to happen between LG or the V top and Momo one. We're trying to get in a liquidity grab right in this level. So right there at 58.88 is a close of the yellow candle. 58.88, 2016.59. That's when the V top comes in. The first liquidity grab, the liquidity grab trader fires in at 58.86 and a half. Right? So it's six ticks below your V bottom normal entry. But the reason this is very important is it's already got momentum because they're grabbing liquidity. What you're going to find out when you trade this system with V tops and V bottoms, what typically happens in a V top and V bottom that doesn't work out, 
is you don't get a you don't get a liquidity grab. If you guys ever noticed that, if you notice when these V tops and V bottoms don't work and they reverse, you won't get a V top. I mean a liquidity grab. Let's take for example here. The market comes up, we're red, red. Let's take a look at these V tops. So here's our software, red, red. There's a V top, V top, V top, V top. What's the difference between these, this V top, this V top, and these two V tops. What's the big difference? Let's take a look. You understand this, you're going to do very, very well with the system. What's the difference between those two? The difference is the Momo 1 fired with this V top, Momo 1 fired with this V top, no Momo 1, no Momo 1. So that's 1505.01 and 1800. Now watch. Did we have a liquidity grab here at all? Was there a liquidity grab on that V top at 1501? I mean, at, at that V top that I just showed you? No. Was there a liquidity grab after this V top? Yes, right there. There's your short. That's when liquidity grab traders are going to get short. Not here. There is no liquidity grab. None. So since there was a liquidity grab, it will not get short. So what it does, it essentially helps you out, depending on what Rinko size you look at, by letting you know if there's going to be a follow-through in grabbing liquidity to the upside or downside. If you look right now, V bottom, liquidity grab one happened right here at 716.32, happened right on this candle. That's where your liquidity grab got long here between V bottom and Momo one. So like I said, we'll go over this. This works on all bar types, depending on how much liquidity you want. If, if <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> if you only will look for a couple of quitty grabs, use a larger Rinko size. If you want to just use for manual and trade this manually, I mean, uh, wait for, uh, not manually, but wait for a V bottom to occur with our dual trend filter, then turn liquidity grab trader on. You can do that also and let it manage your trade. If you want to let it do around the clock, if you found a Rinko size that you want or a minute chart or what have you, remember this works on all bar types. <clears throat> so depending on what market you trade, if you find that you want to just use it around the clock, you can do that also. All right, this is, uh, you'll use market replay. I'll show you how to do it. So we'll market replay this on a lot of different bar types next week. I want to show you how universal this is. Just not the Rinko size. We'll do that next week at 8.15, 8.15 next week on the 23rd, and we'll start going into it.